everyone, welcome to my steampunk geisha look. This bit is painted on obviously and I'm wearing my fancy corset which I don't get to wear otherwise, like pretty much anywhere else anymore. So I'm glad I got it out for this look. This video is in collaboration with a lovely fellow YouTuber. Her channel name is Skins Illusion and her name is Pauline and she's French and she has created another geisha look. I love the fact that she has kept her natural coloring, which is red hair and the contrasting turquoise palette that she has used is really complementary to her natural features. So I'll have a link to her video somewhere here click on that so you can check it out and also go subscribe to her channel because she's a really good body painter and she's one of those who take it very seriously which I love if you'd like to see how I created this look keep watching and also leave me your comments down below letting me know what you think and what you would like me to create in the future in terms of creative makeup body painting special effects the works so let's get on with the tutorial First I'm running some rubbing alcohol through my eyebrows because I want to cover their tail and I'm covering it up with some glue stick. Next I'm creating a very pale color foundation by mixing in my normal foundation color with some white and I'm running this all over my face and neck. I'm applying two coats of this concoction for better coverage. Now my glue is dry, I'm covering up the tails of the brows with some high coverage powder and I'm powdering the entire skin into place because I don't want any shine. I'm drawing the brows upwards using my black gel liner and I want them to look sharp and pointy. I'm even creating some extra little wings here and there just to give them a less tame look and I'm plotting out my eyeliner which I'm going to keep solely on the top lash line and I'm dragging it outwards and not upwards. I'm running some burgundy eyeshadow through my brows and next I'm going to line my lower lash line with some white eye coal. I'm taking the same white pencil underneath the lower lash line as well because I find that when the eyes are not well defined on the bottom it looks a little alien and that's what I want. So right here I'm contouring with my burgundy eyeshadow mixed in with some pink. I'm keeping most of the crease work in the inner corner and I'm also running a bit of white eyeshadow on the lid just to better define it and separate it from the crease. Next it's time for concealer which doubles up as a highlighter and I'm placing it underneath the eyes anywhere I have redness and also on the bridge of the nose. I'm creating sort of a widow's peak with my hot pink eyeshadow and I'm going on to contour my cheeks with the same pink and burgundy. I'm applying a pair of light dainty lashes with feathers on the edges and I'm going on to line my lips with my waterproof glittery purple eye pencil. I want to give this odd squared off shape on the bottom lip and I'm moving on to creating random shadows with a purple eyeshadow and then running white lines with a white eyeliner on top of them just for some contrast. I'm contouring the chin underneath the lips with the same pink and burgundy eyeshadow mix. I'm adding some more white lines here and there and I'm ready to move on to my cosmetic pearls which I'm carefully sticking on above my eyebrows. Be careful with those because I lost half of them and they fell on the floor and I never found them again. I'm also sticking on some buttons and other trinkets. The two sides don't have to be even, they just have to be cohesive. And that completes the face look, so let's move on to the body painting bit. I'm starting off by placing some brown eyeshadow where I want my collar to lie and then I'm just outlining my ruffles. I'm just doing a very basic outline of my entire costume. As always, feel free to paint whatever you want on yourself. This is just what I went for. I love the combination of purple and gold, so I combined them both. My base is purple and then I stippled on some gold and then I added some white patterns and yellow dots just to make it more ornate and impressive. Onto my ruffles, I'm filling them in with white and all the paints I'm using are water-based because they set matte and they don't move around. Time to start shading. I'm running some black eyeshadow on the top of each ruffle. 
I'm leaving the bottom of each ruffle eyeshadow free for now because I want to go in with some brown eyeshadow just to give a different type of dimension than my black gives. But that's not until a bit later on in the tutorial. For now, I'm just creating the shadow supposedly cast by the garment onto the skin. I'm just using some brown eyeshadow. Feel free to mix it in with some black if you want it to be more dramatic. And this is the part where I add my dark, cool brown eyeshadow on the bottom of each ruffle, just to make it look a bit different than lace. I don't know if I did it justice, but anyway, this is what I went for. As a final touch, just to give the ruffles a bit more luster, I'm running some white paint in the middle of each ruffle, using harsh strokes and leaving them unblended. As for the hair, I added in two purple straws, and then I just added some industrial looking trinkets, just to give it this steampunk feel. And there you have the finished steampunk geisha look. <laughs> 